Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Who the hell are you? Bad guy. The mission has been compromised. What's up guys? Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a real native 1080p LED video projector which also has a full Android system built in along with hi-fi stereo speakers. So this is the Vivibrite F30 UP and I just can't wait to see this one in action. So without any further ado, let's just get this out of the box and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a cleaning cloth, you're getting a small remote control, which will allow you to completely control the Android system along with the other functions of this projector. And it's powered by two AAA batteries. You're also getting a European power cable and I've got a UK adapter fitted on the front. And last but certainly not least, the projector itself. So here it is guys, a full sized LED video projector. Now energy efficiency is 150 watts. Lamp life is 50,000 hours, brightness is 4,200 lumens. You have a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. So that's full HD native resolution. Contrast ratio is 15,000 to one. Maximum optimal screen size is 300 inches. You've got HDMI inputs for your game consoles. So you can attach your Nintendo Switch, your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, Android TV box, Nvidia Shield, and enjoy any of those on a massive 300 inch screen. Now you also have built in hi-fi stereo speakers, and I believe it's two times 10 watts, so 20 watts maximum. You've got a full Android system built in, and this is running the S905X quad-core CPU with a Mali 450, two gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs of internal storage. And this is running the full Android version 6.01. Marshmallow, I think, it's going back a bit. Um, now you also have Wi-Fi BGN and Bluetooth version four. So on the top, there's nothing, no buttons or anything. You've got a matte finish and it actually looks like a large game console. Now on the front, you've got your lens cap and remove it, you'll see your lens. And over here, you have your infrared port for the remote control, Vivibrite full HD logo, focus and keystone correction dials there so you can get the best picture quality possible. Now your projector controls are actually on the back, so power, navigational, etc. But the same functions can be done using the small remote control. Now physical power button and a power socket. You've got another infrared port for your remote control. Over here you have a headphone jack, Ethernet port, SPDIF and your HDMI in. So you can plug in your favorite Android TV box, your favorite game console, smartphones, tablets, and enjoy any of those on a massive 300 inch screen. You've also got two USB ports so you can run multimedia directly off a hard drive. Now, if we keep going, there's nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front of the projector. And this is what the bottom of the projector looks like. Now you do have an elevation stand here. You've got four screws over here for tripod ceiling mounts so you can ceiling mount this projector and make yourself a home theater system so without further ado i'm going to get this all connected up and we're going to put this projector to the test i'm excited to test this out on a game console be it playstation 4 maybe even nvidia shield tv and we're going to run some full hd gaming and see how it looks on the big screen so let's get cracking so we are three meters away from that wall in front of us and we are projecting around 100 inches or just over 100 inches. Now there is no projection screen used. We are projecting directly on a cream colored wall. Projection quality is superb. As you can see, you have an ultra bright and crystal clear projection and all four corners look absolutely crisp. And this is the Android version 6 home screen, which took around 40 seconds to fully load from a cold start. Now, the first thing we need to talk about before we run any tests is that fan noise. So I think we can all hear that fan noise. It's quite loud. So I'm going to get my sound meter out and we're going to find out how loud that fan is. So here we go. So if you're right next to it, you are going to get quite a loud 56 to 57 decibels. If you move away half a meter away, you're going to get around 53 decibels. So yes, the fan is quite loud. 
So this is the home screen for the Android system. So you can see we've got a featured section at the top for YouTube, Kodi, Netflix, File Manager and WPS. Now you've got some quick settings for Wi-Fi, which I've already connected to. You've got Bluetooth, Reset, Language, Wallpaper and more settings. And when you click on more settings, you'll be taken to the full Android settings page. Now let's go back. Now at the bottom, you've got all your apps. It's like a shortcut to all your apps. But I'll click on the app drawer and show you everything. So you've got Play Movies, WPS, Gallery. This is the Google Play Store. It's got a custom icon, but if you click it, you will see the full version of the Google Play Store. So the first thing I want to test out is Miracast, as we do have Miracast on this. So let's open it up and give it a shot, shall we? So we have successfully mirrored my P30 Pro. So I'm feeling a little bit of lag here and it doesn't look too good on that screen. It looks a bit washed out, but Miracast is working. Now talking about the internal Android system, YouTube doesn't work because it says a new version is available from the Play Store. When I click install, it says this app is no longer compatible with your device anymore. Contact the developers. So what that means is Android version 6 is causing compatibility issues with some apps beginning with YouTube. So now I headed straight over to Netflix. I managed to log in OK. Um, no problems there. So now I'm going to try and watch something. So. Patriarch has led her herd here for nothing. So Netflix is working, but that was 480p. So in my opinion, the internal Android system is outdated. It's not going to let you take advantage of this wonderful system. So my advice would be to connect a new Android TV box via HDMI or a game console. So I'm about to connect the PS4. So I've connected to my PlayStation 4. I am now going to play some YouTube videos directly from the PS4. So we are able to stream a maximum of 1080p on YouTube. Same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? Something's not right about this. I think we should head back to the road. You're being charged with the attempted murder of the President of the United States. The President's top guardian angel has fallen. Superhuman. Who the hell are you? Bad guy. So I'm just going to try out some Netflix HD. And that attracts attention. Moving on now to some gaming. striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh, what an outstanding 
show you how this looks with the light on so the light is on right now and you can still see everything on the screen so this projector is very bright and can be used even in the daytime so there you have it guys that was the new Vivi Bright F30 UP now this is a real native 1080p video projector priced under 200 pounds Video quality is absolutely amazing, superb brightness and clarity, movies, videos and games look absolutely amazing. Now the projector is so bright you can even use it in the daytime. Furthermore the built-in speakers were surprisingly loud and the sound quality was also very good. Now you also have the option to connect up your own speaker system but I was actually quite happy with the internal sound. Now fan noise was on the louder side. When standing right next to the projector, 56 decibels is quite loud. However, if you move half a meter away from the projector, sound level will drop down to 53 decibels. Now, once the projector is on and you're watching or playing your game, you will soon forget about that fan noise. Now, the most important thing has to be the picture quality, especially if you're looking to buy a 1080p projector. Now, the picture quality is so good, it will blow your socks off. Now my camera does not show you what my eyes can see. The projection quality is way better than what you guys are seeing in this video. Not only that, you can also tweak the video settings to adjust the color and contrast to suit your taste. So that brings me to my top LED video projector chart for 2019, showing you what's new and ranking them by a rating out of 10. So as you can see, this new projector by Vivibrite has jumped straight in at number three on this chart with a rating of 9.5 out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, a great all-round 1080p LED video projector. And if you're wondering how this one compares to the recently reviewed Vivibrite F40 model, well, the F40 has a lower fan noise and projection quality might be a hairline better, but not by a great deal. Brightness and contrast are exactly the same. And the only major difference is the F30 UP model will give you an Android system built in and also a louder cooling fan noise. Nevertheless, the Vivibright F30 UP and the F40 are two of the best 1080p native video projectors you can currently buy for around the 200 mark. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys. Bye.